from London, this is Q Live. Britain, get ready to play. I'm Marina Berry, it's 8 p.m. and today we're all recovering from a crazy night of trick or treating. And you can see all these pictures flashing up on your screen right now. We just want to say a very big thank you to everybody who has tweeted us their spooky Halloween pictures. And here's just a selection of some of our freakish favourites. I love all these costumes. We really do have the spookiest players here at Q Live. Or should that be Q Dead? Anyway, back to the show. Who want to win £1,000? You know the deal. I'm going to ask you 12 questions. Easy to hard. You're going to have 10 seconds to tap each answer. If you get all 12 right, then you'll win or split the cash. Now, before we get started, here's the winner of last night's Golden Q. The Golden Q. Congratulations, EJ Downing. You've won £500. Go on, tweet us a picture of you celebrating. We love to see your pics. Now, don't worry, there will be another golden cue hidden somewhere in tonight's show. If you get that right, then you'll have the chance to win this bonus prize. <laughs> So if you get eliminated on any question, keep playing because someone who gets that golden cue right will win £250. We'll announce the winner tomorrow at 8. But right now, it's time to introduce my very, very special guest. You loved him on The X Factor. He almost won I'm a Celebrity, but he definitely won Dancing on Ice. It's Jake Quickenden! Welcome, Yay. Jane. Welcome to Q Live. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't think anybody liked me on X Factor. That's why. Oh, I excuse me. I did. We all did. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you were great. It makes me feel better. Huh? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should. Uh, you're famous for being a singer, a skater, and a reality star as well. But is it true you were also a professional football player? Um, this. All my mates take the mick out of me because mm -hmm. I wasn't really a professional. Oh. But I did go to Australia to play semi-professional. Yeah. So I was getting paid to play. So that's for me, good. I was a professional. To me, that's, that's professional. professional isn't it? Yeah, that's go. professional. That's it. We'll say no more about it. You're, nice. you're a professional football player yeah, as well. Add it, add, it, add it to all your talents. <laughs> yeah. uh, will you help me give away your £1,000? Yeah, damn right. Oh, good. Right, it's time for the game that stops the nation. Get ready to play. Let's play. So, there are 11,500 of you playing tonight. Let's see if you are paying attention. Here's Q1. Which celebrity skate show did I win earlier this year? Dancing on Ice, Celebrity Big Brother or The X Factor. Now, this skating show first started on ITV in 2006 and was originally going to be called Stars on Thin Ice. Prefer, prefer the, the other one, yeah, don't you? Yeah, the other one. Yeah, yeah. And the answer is Dancing on Ice. It is indeed. 10,200 of you still in the game. Now, next up, we've got a game of Q Do You Think You Are? Look closely at the screen because your question is about to appear. Here is Q2. Which celebrity is this? Is it Natalie Portman, Keira Knightley or Millie Bobby Brown? This celebrity has an IQ of 140 and was born in Jerusalem, Israel. Not sure what my IQ is though. I don't need to get past Q5. About 20. 20? Twi more, like, more like 15 to be fair. And the answer is Natalie Portman. 8,000 of you. Still in the game. Here's Q3. Craig Phillips was the first winner of which UK TV show? Was it Love Island, Big Brother or Fame Academy? Now, after winning the show, Craig went on to release a Christmas single called At This Time of Year, which reached number 14 charts. Do you remember that? It was a banger. It was indeed a banger. A banging tune. The answer is Big Brother. Mm -hmm. Now, if you got eliminated on that question, then keep playing for points because the top scorer at the end of each week gets a nifty 150 time for Q4. Which of these artists released the album Lights in 2010? Diana Vickers, Ellie Goulding or Emily Sande. Now this album reached number one in the charts and was the first ever album by this singer. But 
who was it? Have you got the album? It was Ellie Golden. Mm. 5,000 of you still in the game. Now, talking of music, you've released a few singles, haven't you, Jake? Just a few. You working on any new music at the moment? I am, actually. I'm in the studio as we speak. I'm oh. working on an album. So I've done nice. three songs, but I don't know how long it will take. It might be like 2030. Okay. Well, it'll be worth waiting for a bit. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, it'll be really weird. I'll be waiting to play Thanks. it. Hmm. Let's get back to the game. Q5. The mainland of which of the following countries is the closest to mainland England? France, Belgium or Netherlands. Here's some fun facts about England. Our largest lake is Windermere. Oh, brilliant. Our highest mountain is Scaffold Pike. Amazing. And the Summer Olympics have been held here three times. I'm, I'm full of facts tonight. They all come from my brain. Amazing. Yeah, I know. The answer is France. 4,000 of you still in the game. Here's Q6. Which of these actors has not played Sherlock Holmes on screen? Ian McKellen, Jonathan Price, or Derek Jacobi? And did you know uh, Sherlock never actually says elementary, my dear Watson. He says elementary, he's my dear Watson, but he never puts two together. So I don't really know where that came from. There's another fact for you there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're being sarcastic. And the winner is Derek Jacobi. <laughs> <laughs> 2,300 of you still in the game. It's now time for question seven. The Golden Cube. Whoa, Whoa. Uh, hang on a minute. Come Whoa, on. our next question is a golden cue. Oh, it's all about the money. Uh, this is worth a bonus £250 to one player, even if you've already been eliminated. Jake, it's over to you. Which of these following is traditionally a sheep's cheese? Gorgonzola, Roquefort or Camembert? So remember, this is worth a bonus £250, even if you've already been knocked out. Do you like cheese? I love cheese. Everyone loves cheese. Oh, yeah. I could actually live on cheese. Especially the answer, which is Roquefort. Oh, my absolute favourite. Have that on some steak. Delicious. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, if you got that right, you could be winning £250. Tune in tomorrow at 8, where we'll be revealing tonight's winner. Let's get back to the game, though. It's time for Q8. Which of these British drivers won the Formula One World Drivers Championship the most times? Jackie Stewart, Graham Hill or Nigel Mansell? Now, Lewis Hamilton won his fifth F1 World Championship on Sunday in Mexico. Do you like driving, Jake? Um, I would like driving if I earned as much money as Lewis Hamilton did. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't we all? I don't earn the same driving down the M1. You know what no, I mean? no. Well, and the answer is Jackie Stewart. It is indeed. Uh, 700 of you still in the game. Now, I'm a celebrity, returns in a couple of weeks. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, what's it really like being in the jungle? I loved it. It was it was a free holiday in Australia. Yeah, and nice. I got to chill out for three weeks in a hammock. Mm, yeah. When did you get to do that? Sounds like a dream. What's your worst, what was the worst part of it for you? Um, putting pig's testicles in the mouth. We've all been there. We haven't really been there. We've never been there. I've never been there. You was eating one earlier. <laughs> All right, don't tell everybody. They'll all want one. Let's get back to the game. Time for Q9. <laughs> Which of these women, women won an Oscar for playing an Oscar-winning woman? That's that is, a tongue, that is a tongue twister, isn't it? to be fair. Amanda Seyfried, Michelle Williams or Kate Blanchett. Uh, the most Oscars ever won by uh, one film is 11, and that happened three times with Ben-Hur, Titanic and Lord of the Rings. Ah, oh, love those films. Oh, oh, yeah. The answer is, is Kate Blanchett. And that was a seriously tongue-tying question, though. I'm glad you had that one to read and not me. Uh, next up is a picture question. This is a scene from a famous film, so look carefully at your screen because your question is about to appear. Here is Q10. What film is this scene from? The Raid, Dread or Die Hard 4.0? Now, all three of these are action films. Do you like action films? What's your favourite, Jake? I like the Barnes. Yeah, I've never Which seen ones? any. You've seen never any? seen a Barnes? No, no, never. How many are there? Like 27 of them. Oh my goodness. And the answer is the raid. Here is Q11. Which of the following is not a part of the common mix of five spice powders? Cayenne pepper, cloves, or fennel seeds. Five spice is named after its five flavours sour, bitter, salty, sweet, and pungent. These are also nicknames that I use for the other Q Live presenters. <clears throat> what am I? Salty. Salty! Come on! Of course. <laughs> the answer is cayenne pepper. It is. 284 of you are still in the game and you've made it to the final question. Come on. Get ready. It's time for this. Are you feeling lucky? Here's Q12. 
12. The husband of which of these celebrities recently became an EGOT? Vanessa Nadell, Chrissy Teigen, or Sophie Dahl? Mm, this is somebody who'd won an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. That one dancing on ice, huh? Mm. Yeah, it, that is very true. Mm. The answer is Chrissy Teigen. It is indeed. We've got 248 what? winners. Oh my goodness, that's probably our most ever, actually, ever on the show. Really? Uh, you'll be sharing a thousand pounds. I'll be back tomorrow at one o'clock when I'll be giving away another five hundred pounds. Jake, thank you so much for joining us. You've Thanks. been great. Thanks, I've really enjoyed it. I've got it, it's over. Well, I am too. It went very quickly, didn't it? Yeah. Should we just like redo the whole quiz all over again? No, because then there'll be loads of winners. Oh, that's a very good point, actually. <laughs> He's Jake Clickenden. I'm Marina Berry, and as usual, you've been extraordinary. Have a great evening. Bye for now. <laughs>